Good day, friends. Good day, humans. Most of your waking time, the hours that you do not sleep in bed, who are the things or events or people that you're competing with the most? Who is your the most curious and most delinquent competitor? Is this your partner? Is this your boss? Is this your co-worker? Maybe your neighbor? Or maybe a lousy banker who sits in a tall buildings in downtowns pretending that they are much better than you are. Of course they are. Yet you want to compete with them. Or the ones that you're finding on the magazines, the Forbes 100 of the 100 richest. So they make a selection, they make one to 99, number one makes so much, number two makes a little bit less and so on. Yet where are you there? Why are you put in this position that you have to watch and read this truly stupidities of some other freaks who are living their life in total, you know, dark competition, in competition against everything. Newly breeded scientists are competing against nature in itself. Religious leaders are competing against prime creator. As well, they are trying to put you in a competition against the prime creator by being intermediaries. Because they cannot produce a source energy within themselves, so they have to find suckers to steal from them. Like you are, like many of the religious, all kind of denominations. Dudes are just suckers. And they're actually losing this big competition fight between the religious leaders and the rest of the flock. Well, if you see when somebody calls you a flock, what are you? You're just a cattle. You're not a free sovereign being. You are a piece of meat who has to be cattled into the barns, into direction of slaughterhouse. And slaughterhouse equals bank offices, government offices, courthouses like judges and lawyers and advocate houses. These are the places where we, as a humanity, as a so-called human, we have been slaughtered there. There are very uh, graphic slaughterhouse for humans called wars, called army, called so-called man-made natural disasters. When they shake complete island of Jamaica and oh, I'm sorry Haiti and just flatten everything, sacrifice in an instance quarter million of people plus another 20 million lives in a total destruction and poverty yet by this they created another uh, secondary layer of their sacrificial actions towards uh, humanity is by importing children importing organs people in a very very dear situations they would sell everything just to get some so-called comfort with the food or place to live so people go to this level of low to sell their pieces their organs their blood yes they tricked you that you are as a blood donor you will be so 
appreciated because you're saving somebody else's life. Not really. You're just feeding the un unattainable and never-ending greed of these vampire beings who are feeding off the human blood. So, that'll... Instead of competing against, try to compliment or try complimenting to. I think this is a better. Instead of competing against, try complimenting to. So, do you compliment these freaks who are cheating you in the banking system, in the political system, who are cheating you of your livelihood, who are cheating you of your spiritual freedom, like uh, different religions, different church denominations. They're cheating you from your hours that you spend working, putting all of your energy into minuscule returns of a couple of dollars or some other areas, fractions of dollars per hour. Do you see how low you see yourself? How value yourself as almost nothing? Yet, why are they doing this? Why these dark creatures were implementing so many competitive at attributes all around whenever we turn we are competing while watching a stupid TV advertisement about whatever insurance company where they're showing a, a perfectly plastic uh, boobies woman who's walking on the beach and they're selling you an insurance yes maybe there is some connection there but it mostly it's just to put you in a competitive mode that you want to be on the beach that you want to be on looking like this plastic creature or any other you want to have a in the background is a house so you have to have a house like this hacienda that looks like a spanish style and so so they just know how to bring human into a competitive distressful mode reason why the competitiveness is something that we cannot tolerate anymore as a humans because it brings trauma after trauma after trauma every millisecond that you watch around things and if you observing things around and you put yourself in competitive mode you're producing traumatic experience on your energetic body and on your physical body. When you're multiplying thousands, millions of these little traumas, like little, tiny little cuts, you will eventually bleed all of your blood out through millions of small little incisions that these creatures so deviously planned that only thing they can do is to capture you, to enslave you, without you knowing. Yet what's happened when you know? How you overcome this, honestly, the darkest, the sinister, the most sinister approach towards a human spirit. Keep it down, keep it under some kind of obscure element of don't pay attention to your freedom but pay attention to competing with whoever we show you so these traumatic experiences cannot be just healed by let's say i will not compete anymore i will not be greedy anymore you cannot just state like this and you think tomorrow you'll be just perfect you have to heal every single one of these cuts individually and then energetically like on an individual energetic body you have to heal this energetic body so how to do this for starters stop allowing these freaks of competitive nature and controllers to cut you another small slice 
ever again. So, one of the good approaches that I have kind of really elaborated through my other videos is to start complimenting to these dark freaks. Oh, it's so beautiful that you have a beautiful house. Or it's so unimportant for me to actually watch your uh, vacation video where you spend thousands of dollars on Bahamas or whatever. Yet I just hope that you enjoy it. And I'm very glad that I don't have to pay this credit or bill that you made over there. Because whoever put themselves in a competitive mode, there is something in return they have to give. Let's say they receive a loan from the bank. What you have to be bring back to, the, to this uh, institution. First, they hook you up that you have to have a bigger house. Second, they will give you a bigger loan that you already had or like a, a debt that you already acquired before but you have to work a bit more. If you have to work a bit more you have to be more let's say competitive in the field that you're working or you have to start stealing more. So who you can steal from? From your employees, from your family, from people around and so on. You will not think that these are things actually that they were stolen from you when they put you in a competitive mode. So, title says it again, instead of competing against, try complimenting too. So, recognize where you've been pushed towards competition. Buy a new iPhone. Buy a new car. Take a bigger debt so you can buy a bigger house. Take a, a loan so you can pay your previous loans. This is like a, an injury on top of the injury, energetically speaking. And any emotional injury is an injury. Any emotional stress is an injury on your bodies. So, being emotional in all of this? Well, yes, but what for? Why you want to continue hurting yourself? Find enough strength to say, I don't need to have a bigger car. I don't need to live as my neighbors wants me to live so I can compete with the Joneses or whatever the expression is. Try to compliment them if you want to get out of this. You have a nice house. It's yours. And it's, of course, your debt to pay. <laughs> because none of these creatures who have extraordinary wealth, so-called financial wealth, they are not healthy. And they are in the biggest debt, let's say, to what? Even if they own banks and millions and trillions in the bank. This is just a form of a debt written on the paper. The most richest people are the ones who have nothing. The most richest people are especially the ones who have no debt to anybody. Not even the debt towards me competing against my neighbor or team A competing against team B. If you choose sides in a soccer, whatever, game, A against B, you are for A. You're actually competing against B. You are competing as a spectator. But your energies become part of this team A who's supposed to win. So you're kind of going, putting yourself into debt to be able to support your freaking teams. Why you would do this? And you still have to, to be able to see this. You have to have a cable, you have to go to the soccer games on, the, on these big stadiums and you spend money. 
and you become part of the hive mentality who's going into the war in less than these two hours against a team A. So you're warring every Sunday or whatever you're watching your silly uh, competitive games. And by every time you're putting yourself into debt, you're creating a cut of your energetics. So, one more time. To get out of this, start complimenting. Oh, I really appreciate your competition, but I'm not interested anymore. To really wasting my time, my energy, my dollars, rands, euros, whatever, into something that is already preset. Because both sides of this soccer game are actually sucking the energy from their spectators, their people who are actually real creators who will feed both sides. And then both sides in this clash are feeding an entity of the competition, which is one of just another types of programmings that the dark side of Luciferian agenda here on the planet just created for, not for entertainment, it's for like a meal offering, meal like a food. Our energies of anger, of competition are food for these creatures. So they will not stop. They are just evolving as much faster than any of us in, in humanities uh, group. Because they are absolutely no conscious. They have no sense of morality or integrity or truth or not harming anybody else because they're basing their existence on harming everybody around and feeding of this so it's not a, a mystery that every single war every single conflict here in the, on this planet was created to feed these entities and to enslave more and more and more nations and people inside these nations under their agenda. Your Eastern Bloc, your Western Bloc, you belong to NATO, you belong to whatever. I mean, you suddenly putting yourself in the competitive, very dark and sinister mode. So, start joking. Finding an acronyms what NATO means. In their terminology, it's a North Alliance Trans Association or something like this. You come up with your own. Never again to be obscured. Or they will never again try to fuck me around. Okay? So, NATO or not, it doesn't matter. They'll be very much become insignificant as soon as we drop this competitive nature of us as a, as a human against another human, as a human against an animal, as a human against the planet in itself, as a human against Prime Creator. When we drop all of this competitiveness, then we'll start very fast our process of healing. So have a happy healing.